my babies welcome back to my channel it's your girl raya j and i'm back with another video today is tuesday my babies and i hope all is well with you all all is well with me and i hope we all are continuing to stay about happiness peace and love and i hope we all are continuing to stay determined motivated and focused and i hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that allah has for us so in today's video hold on let me put up this put this um shade up or whatever so we can get a little bit more light so in today's video i don't know did that make a difference comment down below <laughs> in today's video we are going to be discussing a serious topic um you know last week there was a situation where the owner of um a daycare in the bronx um, was arrested because he allegedly been raping a young girl from the age of six to 10 years old. And she recently told, and she's now 13 years old. Where to start with this? First of all, y'all know that children, pregnancies, and just, you know, our, our children are the future. Our children are innocent and precious. Our ch we should protect our children with our life. Okay, now I understand. I'm, I'm going to start with the parents because I, I understand that, you know, us parents, we have to work and we have to, you know, handle responsibilities and things of that nature. But when it comes down to trusting your children with daycares, child care owners, whether at home at or at a daycare facility or whatever or after school programs, we have to thoroughly do our research, okay? We have to thoroughly uh, 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 do background searches on these fucking people, okay? We have to ask a million and one questions, okay, to the people that we are going to trust with our lives, okay? Yes, your children are your lives. They should be. Um, we have to ask a million and one questions. We have to thoroughly... Uh, 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 do background searches we have to go to extreme measures when it comes to leaving someone with our children okay and then you're paying them or government assistance is paying them or whatever either or they're getting paid to take care of your child so that means that not they're not going to take care of your child like you take care of your child because you are the parent but they have to be at the top of the line, you know, as far as your children, they have to feed your children, you know, healthy, great things. They have to feed them all the meals that they are supposed to get. They are supposed to, uh, uh, educate them, you know, teach them manners and stuff. Um, give them their playtime and everything. Give them nap time, whatever, you know, curricular activities, take them to the park, whatever is detailed in that contract. When you are trusting someone to take care of your child, they are supposed to be doing just that. Now, you know, this story literally breaks my heart because not only was this child six years old, you know, and I can't even imagine, okay, I have a daughter. My daughter's six, she'll be seven soon. I can't even imagine anything like this happening to my child. At six years old, she's a baby, okay? And I'm getting emotional because this shit is, is sick. Okay, it's so sick that, you know, you can literally trust someone with your child and they disrespect you to the utmost. They disrespect your child, you know, and it's just so sad, you know. Lots of people in this world are dealing with mental illnesses, okay, whether it be bipolar, schizophrenic, ADHD, ADD, anxiety, depression, okay, um, post-traumatic stress disorder it doesn't matter what kind of mental illness that people are dealing with i'm just letting you know in general a lot of people are sick you know a lot of people are so sick okay to want to touch a fucking child okay this is disgusting like and it's been taking me a while to record this video because this video is i mean this 
oh this oh this topic is just sickening it's sad um i'm hurting for the parents i'm hurting for the girl the young girl you know and and honestly I don't know why it took so long to, for her to tell her parents from the age of six to 10 years old. So four years, she has been molested by a grown ass man and, you know, just dealing with this. And first of all, him and his wife are the owners of the daycare in the Bronx. And you telling me that you don't see, first of all, to the wife, you don't see your husband is acting different. You don't see that he is like intrigued and amused and he is his sexual um his sexuality is like heightened now because he's like, you know, being a fucking freka with a young nana. Like, oh my gosh. And then for the young girl, four years she has been dealing with this pain and trauma. She has been living a fucking nightmare. Can you imagine what that fucking girl is going through and how how much of her youth was taken from her, okay? And how much healing and work she's gonna have to do on her life to, to fully be healed. Like she has to turn to Allah. She has to do soul, soul searching. She is now, inshallah, but she might now believe that this is the way that a man is supposed to love her because this man abused her and took advantage of her body and her mind and her soul and her youth and her toto, okay? She, either this is going to go to, to, they need to get that girl in therapy um, ASAP. ASAP. And you know, I know a lot of people, they shun against therapy. Therapy works. Of course, it's an ongoing process. But if you put yourself in therapy, get your children in therapy for whatever trauma that they have gone through and are going through, therapy helps. Because let's be real, not all, no shade to the parents, y'all, but not all of y'all parents out there know how to sit down and have a conversation with your children. You don't know how to let your children open up, be free. And, and, and you guys having a, have an open mind and just let them cry on your shoulder. Let them cry in your chest. Let them weep. Let them sob. Let them get it out. Let them express how they feel so they can release that. Because it, it, they're going to go throughout their life not knowing that they don't have to talk to strangers. They don't have to talk to boys. They don't have to talk to the guidance counselor at school. They don't have to talk to any. All they have to do is talk to you as the parent. And you have to be open-minded. You have to be free. You have to let your children express what they need to express. Because if you don't, they will be scared for fucking life to come to you, mommy and daddy or guardian, with whatever they're going through. We are supposed to, oh my God, we are supposed to protect our children. We are supposed to believe and do thorough checks, background checks, ask a million and one questions, stay on a motherfucker's ass that is watching your children because you never know what the fuck is going on behind the closed door of a daycare of somebody's house. You don't know how they talk to your child. You don't know how they treat your child. You know, if they're neglecting your child in any way, if they're abusing your child, putting hands on your child, you don't know. So it's very impeccable, imperative, um, imperative to stay on top of these daycare workers, these childcare owners, these fucking people that you are trusting to watch your children. Like literally with my child, I don't give a fuck who would and thank Allah that my child is not in any program, daycare, after school, you know, she ain't in, um, you know, and she used to be because I'm, I've always been a working mom. You know, I've always, from the time she was born, her mother had to go take her GED test and, and leave her with family. I had to go shopping. I had to go, go to work. I had to go to school. I had to, you know, I had to do everything, okay? And me being a single mom, I needed all the help that I can get. But you best believe a motherfucker never played me. And thank you, Allah, that I stayed on top of these fucking people who I trusted with my life. My daughter's my life, my breath, okay? I 
can't even fucking breathe without her. You have to understand that. So whether it been family, friends, daycare, um, a daycare facility, ch at home daycare, um, child care. I don't give a fuck. School, after school program, I don't give a fuck what it was. I stay on top of a motherfucker's ass because you're not going to play me. And you're not going to disrespect me or my child. I will fucking, I will do 25 to life. Okay? For my motherfucking kid. I will murder a motherfucker. Don't fuck with me with my fucking offspring. Because I'm the wrong fucking bitch. You need to know that. So, you know, I'm just grateful that, first of all, my child hasn't gone through any of this that this young girl has gone through. And she will have to go through her life questioning herself, you know, um, receiving the healing and the help that she needs. Because this girl, at the age of 13, so she went through the trauma and the nightmare for four years, the girl. And now she's 13 and she just came out and told, you know, the secret that I'm pretty sure the fucking sick ass predator told her, oh, don't tell your parents, don't tell your mother, don't tell nobody. This is between me and you. You my special little princess. Can you fucking imagine what this man put in her head? So now she, she needs help. She needs therapy. She needs to express what she feels. She needs to get it out because I'm telling you, if she if the if the if the family does not allow her to go to therapy and release what she feels and tell her story and 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 heal from it and and, and help her understand that baby, it was not your fault. N none of that was your fault. He's a sick ass predator who should have knew better, but because he's sick, he's sick. You have to still forgive sick people and people who are just messed up because they don't know better. But I know it was not your fault. Nothing, none of the, none of what happened to you was your fault. So, you know, we need to get you into therapy. We need to help you release. We need to help you heal. You know, we need to help this young girl because she's going to grow up and she is going to be seeking validation from boys and guys and thinking that, you know, guys are supposed to be sexual with her, you know, for her to gain uh, uh, validation and for her to be beautiful. And she's going to believe lies that these guys tell you and she's going to grow up and... and, and She's going to be a grown woman still dealing with the past trauma of her life and the pain and the hurt and the insecurities that she feels on her life and herself. This is so serious. My heart breaks for this young girl. My heart is asking a lot to please send healing over her and her family, you know, and help them to seek the, the, the help that they all need, you know, and as for the sick fucking predator, I hope that they do him dirty in fucking prison, okay, and I hope that he doesn't get out, because fucking sick predators like that, they don't need to be out on this life hurting our babies, hurting our youth, abusing, using, manipulating, okay, making our children live in a fucking nightmare, okay, and, 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 hurting our babies this whole situation literally breaks my heart but i know that allah has all the answers i know that allah is the most high he is the most merciful he is the most kind the most great you know all praise to the to the most high allah inshallah i mean thank you so much for giving me the words and the spirit and 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 the courage and you know, just giving me everything I needed to get on camera and make this content video because you know how hard it was for me to make this video because I love children. I love my child. I love being a mom. I love pregnancy. I just, you know, my heart breaks when I hear stories about this and, and, and other uh, crazy situations as far as our children goes because these babies, they don't deserve not an ounce of it. Okay, they're innocent, they're special, they are supposed to be protected, loved, cared for, okay? They trust who they're, who's caring for them. And for people to walk all over that and abuse them is fucking sick, okay? So this is the end of my content video. Thank you all for watching, my babies. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love.